Duplicates in your data can occur naturally or an error or natural errors. Well, either way, we need to be able to easily identify and sometimes remove duplicate data. Excel has a load of tools available, which I'll cover in this video. You can watch them all and choose the one right for your task, or you can use the timestamps in the video description to jump to the method that you want. There's also a workbook you can download from the link in the video description that contains screenshots and notes, so you can use it as a reference guide later or share it with coworkers. All right, let's get started. I like to use conditional formatting to quickly highlight duplicates in a column. Simply select the column of cells containing the duplicates and then on the home tab of the ribbon, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules and duplicate values. We can either highlight duplicates or unique items. Obviously we're interested in duplicates here and we can choose from some of the default formats or we can create a custom one. I'll leave it with the default and click OK. It also works for duplicate rows. Simply select the columns you want it to check. Conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, duplicate values, and click OK. And we can see rows 9 and 11 have duplicate rows. This is great for visually highlighting duplicates in a column while retaining them in the data set. You can use filters to hide duplicates or focus on them. The downside is the duplicates remain in the data set which might be exactly what you want, but if you prefer to get rid of them, keep watching. You can add a column to your data table to tag rows containing duplicates, and we can use the if with count ifs to identify them. So I want to count the dates, F4 to absolute, where there are records the same as that on the current row, and where the ID is the same as the ID on the current row, if the count is greater than one, then it must be a duplicate. Otherwise, I'll leave it blank. So the first one is unique. We've got two duplicates. If you only want to check one column, then we can just use count if. And let's say we want to check the IDs. F4 to absolute. Check if it's the same as the ID on the current row. If the count is greater than one, then it's a duplicate. Otherwise, we'll leave it blank. And the first one is a duplicate. Copy it down and we've got three duplicates. And like with the previous example, you can add filters and filter to see just duplicates or just those that are unique. A pivot table is an excellent way to quickly identify if you have any duplicates in a column. So we'll insert a pivot table and I'll just pop it here beside the data. All you need to do is drag the field in that you want to check and again into the values area it's going to count the instances of the name. We can right click and sort it largest to smallest to bring the duplicates to the top. You can also filter. So we could say, show me only records that are greater than one. Now we have the duplicates. And likewise, show me records that equal one. And now we have the unique records. By the way, notice if I clear the filters that we also have a unique list of the names. Pivot tables are quick and easy to create and they're great for large data sets because you can sort the count in descending order to bring any duplicates to the top. They also provide the count of an item so you can see how many times it's duplicated. On the downside, they don't remove duplicates. If you want to retain the original data as it is, Microsoft 365 users and those with 2021 onward can use the unique function to extract a distinct list from multiple columns. It's super easy to use. Simply select the data and close parentheses. The unique function is a dynamic array function, so it spills the results to the cells below. And we can see it's only returned one instance of the 6th of August and IDC 301. It also works with single columns, so we can return a unique list of the IDs. And for bonus points, we can wrap it in the sort function and have them sorted. We've looked at highlighting, extracting and tagging cells or rows containing duplicates, but sometimes you want to remove duplicates from the original data set. So all you're left with is a unique list of records. And there are a couple of ways to tackle this. Let's say we want to remove the duplicate rows from this table. Now we've got three rows with produce, two of which have the name Rachel. 
So we need to remove the extra row containing produce and Rachel on row 11. And we can use the remove duplicates tool on the data tab of the ribbon to do this. By selecting both the department and name columns, I'm telling Excel that I want it to find duplicates where the values in both columns are the same. And note that it also has checked the box my data has headers, so it's going to ignore them when it checks for duplicates. I'll click OK. It tells me it's found one duplicate value which has been removed and four unique values remain. Remove duplicates is quick and easy to use, but keep in mind that removal of duplicates is permanent. And if your data gets updated, then you need to run the remove duplicates process again, in which case there are better tools, which I'll show you next. This technique uses Power Query to remove duplicates. First, make sure your data is formatted in a table. Mine already is. You can see up here it's called Table 7. And if yours isn't, you can use the keyboard shortcut Control T. With it in the table, on the Data tab, I'm going to add it to Power Query using the From Table Range connector. It opens the Power Query editor, and there's my table. All I need to do is select the columns that I want it to check. If they're non-contiguous, you hold down Control. If they're contiguous, then Shift will do the job. And then on the Home tab of the ribbon, Remove Rows, Remove Duplicates. And I'm left with four records. I can close and load two and choose where to put the data, either in a table, a pivot table report, a pivot chart, or even the data model. I'm going to pop it on this worksheet beside the data table so we can see them side by side. The great thing about using Power Query is if your data source gets updated, you can refresh the query and it will remove duplicates again with just the click of one button. Original data remains intact, plus you have a new view of the data that excludes the duplicates. Now the downside is that it requires a few more steps than the previous example and retaining the original data might make your file unnecessarily large, in which case the original data can be stored in a separate file. And then you can use Get Data from File from Workbook Connector. And lastly, the Advanced Filter can extract a list of unique items from a column or columns. First, select the data. You can select the headers or exclude the headers, it doesn't matter. And then on the Data tab, I'm going to click on Advanced. We can filter the list in place, so remove duplicates from the original source of the data, or we can copy it to another location and we can specify where we're going to copy it to. It already remembers it from when I did it previously. And I want to choose Unique Records Only. I'll click OK. Notice it's brought in the header even though I didn't select it. And I'm left with four unique records. The Advanced Filter tool is reasonably easy to use. It also has an option just to filter the list to hide duplicates, and it can handle multiple columns of data. The downside is there's no link maintained between the original data and the filtered data. If the original data gets updated, then you need to run the advanced filter again. So there you have seven ways to identify or remove duplicates. Depending on my needs, I like to use Power Query to remove duplicates, conditional formatting to visually indicate duplicate records, and pivot tables to identify if large data sets contain duplicates. I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can download the Excel file containing the scenarios and notes for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.